Welcome to lesson 103 of A Course in Miracles. God being love is also happiness. So I can't, so here, sorry, I almost went into Spanish. So here they got, they do the, 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 the course show us the thread, the connection. And this is what we've been discussing for, for, for you know, all this time. And, and, and not only discussing it, but identifying it within ourselves that peace, God, silence, happiness, it's all the same. And it's all find within. And it's such a beautiful lesson, this, that uh, reminds us of that and, and, and help us practice that. And it, it, it also says that uh, if you're not feeling love, meaning feeling peace, meaning feeling joy, then you're not uh, carry on, then you're not doing your purpose, then you're not being useful. Um, one of the, the ways that I'm identifying, sorry, if I'm feeling love uh, is, is within my body, you know, and, and, and this is definitely uh, a constant connection and communion with your own body and with your own being. So just really assessing, because we, we usually don't stop to, to look at and to feel really what we're feeling. We just go like robots, you know, just doing it throughout our day without really stopping, without really having a sense of who we are, what we're feeling. I'm finding that the more I, I stop and the more I connect to my body, the more I get to know myself. Um, and this is, for example, you know, sometimes we, we get up in the morning and we go through the first hours of the morning and we might be upset or we might be sad or we might be judgmental. Or, and it's just observing what is happening with us. You know, when is it that I, that I lost connection to myself? From the time I woke up to the time I lost connection to myself, what was it? What happened? What did I think? What emotions did I have that helped me lose connection to me and therefore to love and therefore to happiness and therefore to joy? This is a really delicate, soft, uh, very conscious, very aware, very present journey. The more present that you are in your body, the more capable you are to pull yourself back in and center again every time you lost yourself in your mind or in, in, in your emotions. So this is a, an ongoing, ongoing journey. And the, the lesson says, God being love is also happiness. To fear him, is to be afraid of joy. And how many times we're afraid of joy? And this is the lesson that we were discussing before, you know, yesterday or the day before. You know, our judgments about happiness, our conditioning about happiness, our expectations of our happiness. Am I expecting that someone or something else will give me happiness? Or am I prepared to, to create happiness uh, within myself now. Sorry. Um, God being love is also happiness, and it is happiness I seek today. I cannot fail because I seek the truth. Our truth, our truth is to be joyful. Joyful doesn't really mean, you know, jumping up and down of happiness because I achieve something or whatever. Joyful is that, that constant vibration. And it's like an under, underlying, you know, tone of peace. You know, so you, you're going through your daily life. 
you know, different bubbles of thoughts and emotions pop up throughout the day, but there's a constant, like an, an anchor, it's a constant anchor of I am here in my body, I am connected to my divinity, I feel peace, which is the same as love, which is the same as joy, which is the same as silence. So there's that constant grounded part of ourselves that we keep building up and building up and building up more and more and more and more, which is also called presence. Uh, and we can observe ourselves, that, that side of ourselves, the egoic mind, when it just jumps out of, you know, you know it's judging or it's uh, judging the self or it's just feeling sad, sad or angry or whatever, you know, whatever you're feeling at any given time. The idea and the key here is to be able to separate it because otherwise you, you will be stuck in that and believe that that's you. We, we run the risk of doing that because we always do it anyway. So you could be like that, doing your job and really being angry and really stiff and really tight and not realizing that that's the way you're feeling. Uh, or you could be like really rigid thoughts, really stiff emotions and not, not really realizing that you're doing it because you're so used to it uh, that you think that that's who you are. But a course in miracles, and you know in your heart that that's not who you are. And as I was saying, a course is miracles. A course in miracles is reminded us, reminded us all of that, that we are joy, that we are peace, that we are light, that we are God, and that we deserve to have our body loosen up, and we we do deserve for our emotions to become tender you know, and just more soft and, you know, more loving. We all love that, those feelings of, you know, softness. And that's why we love so much falling in love, but we all know by now that falling in love at that level doesn't last long if you don't keep falling in love within. So enjoy lesson 103 and I'll see you tomorrow for lesson 104.